Hello guys, in this video I will show you one of the ways to farm really useful fame, this black fame that's called Imperial Society Merit on English client. Okay, after summoning your paper doll and then going to this tab here, you press right or not press just right click your mouse on this fame and it will show you to this NPC uh, he located in three locations I think in the world and he has two great things to offer first of all it's uh, three weekly quests this ones as you can see this is a reward you will get 1000 fame in, after completing it these items and this is uh, the reward that you can choose one of these three i will uh, do this quest all three times right uh, right in this video and we'll show each of this uh, what each of this item contains not only do you ha can uh, complete this request you can also spend fame at this npc or imperial merit we just press second button and we will open his shop all of these items that he sells uh, will be to you, so you won't be able to trade them with other players, all except this. This silver ore or gem you can sell to other players. Though it costs a lot, it, all, it costs uh, 2000 of this fame and it's, it doesn't worth it. One of the main uh, reasons to actually f do farm this fame is to buy this as you can see it's pretty cheap and of course buy daily rewards like this one this one or this one well most of these items are pretty useful to you and as you can see it doesn't cost anything except for this fame or imperial merit again okay now how to do you actually complete this quest uh, this quest uh, on the English server is called Exploring Crossing Ausgis. To complete it, uh, the most. Okay, let's go here. Uh, uh, the best way com to complete it, okay. Sorry, I'm kinda sleepy. You will need to have a twink character, or you will need to have a friend with a twink char character. And uh, anyways, uh, it, it works either way but be careful uh, you cannot load bo both characters on one PC even if you use some software like uh, virtual instance so you better have an, a second PC or you uh, have to ask your friend to lo uh, load that, that character but better find a friend with two PC uh, that can load both him, his main character and his twin. Then you just, as I have two computers, so I already level up a little bit this character. As you can see, he's level 23. I just invite him in my group. Then I accept. Ah, sorry, I didn't invite him. I asked for party. Let's give crown to my main. And let's go inside. In this instance. Okay. Uh, you will uh, get Imperial Merits for two things in, the, in low level uh, dungeons. First is for killing mobs near low level character, mobs and uh, raid bosses. Before I begin, I will control my twink or alt, any way you like to call him, and go near mobs. I'm sorry you, you don't see much 
because I'm controlling my second window right now and it's aren't recording of course it ain't recorded yeah so and I'm running with my main and here it is okay when near each other we can kill these mobs oh, as you can see here I got I'm getting reward for each mob I kill I get 15 or 17 I, th I think I got from for two of those okay next uh, part a little bit tricky you have to press uh, two of these seals at the same time or almost at the same time well it ain't much of a problem for me bam and as you can see, I nailed it. Well, I don't think I need to show you how I will clear this dungeon. Uh, it's pretty useless information, so I will pause this video right now and I will resume it after I finish it to show you the reward. Okay, guys, I finished it. It took not much, just a few minutes for me. To do this solo as you can see and for one run without quest i got almost 1050 imperial merits as you can see 1423 and after i will finish this quest okay let's take first box here we can take this second quest i want you this box i will show you all three items uh, at the end of this as well I will stop <laughs> recording again to complete this quest two more times and then I will show you uh, what I got okay let's check this out yeah quest is the same and it's even called the same as you can see here is this uh, well, where it, it is, one, I, will, I completed one of, out of three times. Okay, I'm pausing this video. Okay, guys, I finished this quest a third time. Let's get last reward. Oh, damn. You can actually do it four times, not three times. Yeah, a bummer. Well, for this video I think three times is more than enough. I want to also add that I made a little mistake. I actually missed uh, four mobs in that dungeon when I was running and those I actually lost about 90 merits. So uh, by just running without quests you can farm uh, one and a half thousand merits for each run so basically you can you can f make about five runs I think a day so do your math you can farm about seven and, and, the, and five hundred thousand imperial merit points a day also what I forgot uh, to mention are these items that drop there and you well get them these items uh, give you reputation for free basically you also farm a little bit of this uh, currency I think it's GIS on the English servers as you can see I'm using these items and get myself a lot of reputation okay this is to reputation I also got uh, this uh, this item as a drop I don't remember how it's called on English server. Mm, I a little uh, did a little gathering of these items too. You can gather this and some ore there. And I got this map as a drop too. We'll try to see what I what treasure I will find. I will also do this on this video to show you what this map drops. And let's actually open uh, quest rewards that I chose 
that I chosen. I mean, okay. First is this. Okay, it has uh, pieces of pieces of uh, ascension essence, sixteen of them. Terrible reward. This got me twelve thousand of this currency. Not bad, but I didn't need it. And the last one, it actually has this seal for upgrading special skills. Well, not that great actually. I think uh, the second one was the best. Uh, to see what you can get from all of these items, go uh, to the site in the description below. There will be full information what those items can contain. And right now I will go and search for this treasure. Okay, it's around... sorry. Well, to m not make this video as long as it could be and not about treasure hunting, I will pause yet again. Okay, uh, the treasure is actually super near, <laughs> near me. As you can see, I'm almost there. Okay. It should be somewhere around... Okay, there it is, as you can see. Right here. Okay, I got myself... What did I actually got? <laughs> uh, I have no idea, seriously. Okay, I think I, the only thing I got was uh, uh, craft uh, experience, and that's all. So, too bad for me, I guess. Well, uh, to wrap this up, I farm about seven and five hundred thousand merit points. And as you probably remember, one of the top materials that you need to for your character cost about 100. So it's 75 of this. Uh, I think it's called hematite on English client or something like that. Well, I'm talking about this. As you can see, it costs 1,300 coins on market. So. If I could sell it, I would get all, uh, about uh, 100,000 of those. But I didn't, I cannot, I mean, and so I will just save myself so much money. This is it, guys. I hope this will help you to complete both this quest and understand what and how to farm Imperial Merits. Have fun. Goodbye.